What's up guys, Chris here with The Sim Gaming. If you're like me, you've uh, attempted to take down these walking furnaces a couple of times and they've just absolutely wrecked your day. They're actually pretty easy to beat. Uh, as you can see in the video, I am not even using torrent. Uh, you can, but uh, I found it's just easier to actually get between their legs here and I hit them with a lightning spell. You can just attack them with your regular weapon, you can hit them with other spells, it doesn't really matter. You just need to cause enough damage to stun them uh, so that you can get a critical hit. Really that's how you take them down. It seems like you're not doing much damage here at all, but um, <clears throat> you don't really need to. Once you get them down to a certain point, um, they will fall and then you can hit them with a critical. And once you do that, it takes away like <laughs> half their life at least. Um, so you only have to hit critical them twice. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty easily dodging the fire attacks and if you're standing below them they really just do the same thing over and over again they just do one stomp then the next stomp so really you just have to time it as you can see right now uh, he just fell over I gotta do uh, I gotta run long ways and uh, I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to get to it but um, he stays on the ground for a while um, as you can see it's right in the face you just boom stab him right in the face and now his health is well you know well under half uh, at this point, I think that was, what, 10,000 damage or something, or if, if not more. Um, so anyway, that's really how you beat him. There's one point when he gets a little bit lower where he will do a double stomp. He'll just jump in the air and stomp down. Uh, but you can still you can dodge that one with a quick jump as well. Uh, and as you can see, the timing on the jump is not really that hard. I've, I've screwed it up a couple of times. The main thing is you have to be careful you're not attacking or throwing a spell when he goes to do it. Otherwise, you get kind of stuck there. Um, but, I mean, there's another one where I just jump right over it. I jump right up. So that's a perfect example where I, I screw up the timing. Uh, and I am in the middle of a spell. I think he's going to do a double jump here in a second. Um, and he does hit me the first time. Yeah, here we go. So this right here. Oh, maybe not. Here we go. So he's about to do a double jump. Um, you can back away a little bit. Now, obviously, I screwed that one up, but he does another one here in a second. And um, I was able to dodge that one. And I think, I don't know if it's because I was further away from him or not, but I just jumped again. And uh, obviously, you can see the fire is close to hitting me. I mean, I go right through it, and um, it doesn't doesn't phase me at all. So uh, they're really not that hard, as you can see. He's about to go down for the second time, and... Um, then we'll be able to critical him one more time. So hopefully this helps. I know they were they were really driving me nuts. So hopefully this helps uh, you guys out. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Peace. Shit, I almost landed under that. That wouldn't be Okay, so not that bad.